Hi, this is Teo from PuckerBlocks.com. For today's video, I want to explore the secondary color scheme which consists of orange, purple, and green. Before I start, let me try some color mixtures first to determine the orange and green and purple. I'm using Windsor Yellow here. Let's mix with a warm red. Um, this is like a pyro scarlet or something. So yellow and a warm red will give you an orange. And then let's get a purple by mixing Alizara Crimson and French Ultramarine Blue. Then the last one will be a green. I want a bright green so I'm using Windsor Yellow again. And Thalo Blue. So this is probably going to give me a very bright green. Yep. I also want to try a more muted palette, so I'm going to be using Windsor Yellow again and mix with a cool red this time, which is permanent Alizara Crimson. So this is more uh, toned down. And a purple, uh, instead of using, let's say, Permanent Alizara Crimson, I'm, I'm going to use a warm red and maybe a cool blue. Not something that you would get a purple with. Mm, this is not really purple, so let me switch up to the cool red instead. And Taylor Blue. Okay, this is a, also a more a toned down version of the purple. And then finally for the green, I want a warm green. Windsor Yellow and Ultramarine. So we have the bright colors at the top row and uh, more muted colors on the second row. So uh, let's start. For the first one, I would want to paint maybe the sky in a purple tone. So let me use the bright purple, permanent Alizari Crimson and French Ultramarine. So later on when it's dry, I'm going to go in with the orange for this. Now for the second one, I'm going to paint exactly the same bird. I want to use the more muted purple. In this case, it's um, permanent Alizara Crimson and Thalo Blue. And for the last piece, I am going to use um, somewhat different. I'm going to maybe use orange instead for the sky later on for the windows i'm going to color them a bit different also maybe i'll color the ground in an orange tone as well and now for the second sketch um, using a muted orange Pincer Yellow and Permanent Alizari Crimson. Let me keep the windows white. Or at least the frame of the window should be white. Okay, the last one I'll use um, orange versus purple. So I use a bright purple for that. Permanently Zari Crimson and Ultramarine. And finally, I'm going to color the green. So I'm going to use a bright green for the first and last sketch. Bright green would be Windsor Yellow and Thalo Blue. And for this one in the center, uh, it's warm 
green so it's uh, with ultramarine yellow with ultramarine okay let me go in with the purple for the windows the underside as well this would be a warm orange and for the one in the center it's going to be um, purple a very muted purple permanent alizaro crimson and thalo blue if I want to go in and add more uh, shadow, I can do that. For example, for the purple, I mean for the orange in the first building, I would just need to add more orange. Basically just underline the bottom side of the top there. Same thing for this purple here. Just to go in the bottom. These are the three sketches that I painted with three secondary colors, the orange, the purple, and the green. So for the first and third sketch, I basically swapped the color of the sky and the building. And for the second sketch, I used a muted scheme compared to the first sketch. So the first sketch and second sketch, they convey a sort of a different mood. This would be like more somber, more toned down. And this is like more bright and cheery because, well, has a lot of orange here and this also gives a different look I did not use green for the sky because it would look very weird um, I would use purple or orange for the sky let me show you the reference photo that I used to draw this building so this is the reference photo it's some light yellow pink and sky blue and also grays so um, from what you can see I did not follow the scheme at all so sometimes you don't have to follow the exact colors that you see in real life you can just use uh, whatever colors that you like this is not a color scheme that I use very often usually when I'm sketching outdoors if the sky is blue I would paint it some sort of blue but for this exercise I wanted to explore different color variations and how they work with one another and it's very fun to do so even though it looks nothing like my reference photo in terms of the color usage I think the result actually turns out quite well I like them very much what I would probably improve on this is to go in and add more darker areas like using black to add the doors and the windows just to give it more contrast so that's all for today's video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section below. And if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, do so for more sketching tips and techniques, art product reviews, sketchbook, art book features. Thanks and have a nice day. See you next time.